And th this is the next stage is going to be the card counting. Uh, we looked at card counting in here, and they're mainly minor cards, which is fairly easy to do. Now we're going to look at some of these other cards, and in this sequence here, we have quite a few major arcana, and the rules for the major arcana are different. So I'll kind of go through with them as we go along. That's the easiest thing to do, basically. Now, we start with the top card, which is the devil. The devil, in, um, in, in most systems, is to do with Capricorn. And Capricorn is a zodiac sign. And for the zodiac signs, we're going to count 12. 12 signs of the zodiac, easy to remember. So we'll start with the, zodiac, with the devil card here, and we're going to count 12 cards this way. And then we're going to count 12, then we, once we've done the counting, and found where we finish this, we'll go back and we'll count in the opposite direction and see where that takes us. To give us a whole overview of what this top card is all about. So we start counting from the devil, we'll start on its own number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, the Queen of Discs. We already talked about her as being the key cards in this sequence and here she is. Um, she's, a, um, she's a strong practical woman. Um, the cards around her is the four of discs and the ace of discs, the four of wands and the ace of discs, sorry. And it shows a very much a business orientated thing. So we're going to count court, uh, four for the queen of discs. All the court cards, except for the princesses or pages, we count four. The pages, we count seven. All the, all the, all the princesses, we're going to count seven. So we count four from her. One, two, three, four. This, she goes on to the emperor card. It's a powerful man, a strong man. Um, it's also to the Aries, and Aries is very much beginning, beginning, end of March, beginning of April. We've already identified this as a period that might, things may well change for right back in three or four lessons ago. Um, this, is, this is kind of confirmation. It looks like she wants to complete things because the Emperor is surrounded by the Universe card on one side, and there's also the Prince of Wands. Uh, the Prince of Wands and the Queen of Discs are the right way around, so I would suggest that these people are working in concert with each other in order to move and change on. So we're counting the Queen, goes to four. Aries, uh, the Emperor. Aries is a zodiac sign, so we're going to count 12 for that card. So let's see how that goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah. When you find that the, 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 the top card, you count on the top card and it takes you back and you end up counting back onto the top card, we have a locked situation where things are, it's going round in circles but not actually getting anywhere. We had exactly the same thing, if you remember, with the Knight of Wands. It's interesting, isn't it? So we better count the other way and see how that goes. So the devil, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The Emperor card. Again, we've got this element of things changing in April and it's about taking control. Um, it could be there's someone abroad as well, actually, that, that this woman is to do with. The Emperor, we know, we count 12 as well. So we're going to count uh, 12 for this card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We want to the 10 of Wands, oppression. Oppression means allow people, we're allowing people around us to give us a hard time. Uh, the oppression card, 10 of Wands, is surrounded by the Ace of Swords and the Hangman. The hangman is sacrifice and loss. The ace of swords is about thinking ideas. So there's a lot of fear and worry about losing something, probably the business or the relationship. We'll have to see. So for the ten of wands, it's easy. We're going to count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Prince of Discs. Here he is. So he's he's on one side. He's got the seven of swords and then the three of wands. So again, this this idea of Around about April time, because the three of wands is one of the decanates of Aries, something will happen. So we count from the Prince of Discs four, one, two, three, four, the death card. It could be that he was the one, we identified uh, November and the, the death card is Scorpio. We identified Scorpio in November as something that happened. Maybe he wanted to try and initiate something, which relates to the full card here. So you have to sort of think ahead and look around and remember what else you've done in this reading to, to bring the whole kind of picture together to see what's happening. So the death card is Scorpio. The Scorpio is a zodiac sign. We're going to count 12 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Three of Cups. Um, he's not 
expecting good things because the Three of Cups is usually a sign of good things to happen. It's surrounded by the Seven Disc, which is failure. Financially, it could be a job loss or hard work and no reward. And the Ace of Swords is an idea of new ideas, but that's next to the Ten of Wands. So there's a lot of oppression, fear, and hope that's going on at the same time. So count from the Three of Cups goes on to the Ten of Wands. We've had this count before, and we know there's a lot of pressure that's going on still. And we count four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of Wands. So this man who started things, he's lost in a situation. Um, in, in some respects, we've already counted on him, so we know what, what happens in one direction. So now we'll go try counting the opposite direction to see where we go. So we count four for the Prince of Discs. One, two, three, four. We hit the Six of Swords, Science, who wants to go travelling. But it's next to the, the Nine of Swords, Sorrow, Breakup, all kinds of nasty stuff, and there's the Princess of Discs. Um, Maybe he's found out she's not as nice as we thought she was. Maybe she has a really mean, nasty streak. We don't know yet. There's something funny is going on here. The Six of Swords can be travel. It can also be finding out things. Interesting. So for the Six of Swords, six, we're going to count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A hangman loss next to the moon. Deception. There are strange things going on here. And it's a lot of confusion. We count from the hangman. Now the hangman is um, is the element water, and there are three elemental cards in the um, major arcana: the fall, the hangman, and the judgment card, or the aeon card. Uh, the hangman is water, and because there are three of these cards, they're known as the mother letters in the Sefiyatra. We count three for these. So the hangman, we're going to count three: one, two, three. We go on to the ace of swords. Now, the aces are interesting because for the aces, um, we don't count one for the aces because it wouldn't go anywhere. Um, we actually count five because the aces are to do with spirits and it's the fifth element of Akasha. So for all the aces, we're going to count five. So from, so from the ace of swords, we count five. One, two, three, four, five. Two of wands. Uh, again, that's to do with the decanates, with the decanates of Aries. It's surrounded by the Queen of Swords, uh, which rep usually represents a woman who's um, widowed or is lost out in some way. And from the two, we count the two of discs. And again, we count two, which is two of discs change, onto four of wands. And so it's very much, this is another decanate of Aries. So all the Aryan decanates are here very strongly. Uh, for, the, for the four of wands, we're going to count four. One, two, three, four. We hit the Prince of Wands. And from then, from the Prince of Wands, who's, and we're going to count four, goes on to the Death card. And from the Death card, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three of cups. Sacrifice and loss. Interesting things, isn't it? So there's very much this, it looks like if you're doing a kind of score on the men versus the women, it looks like this woman, the older woman in particular, looks strong. The male cards in here could be could be strong, but this one in particular seems very weak.